Okay, gentlemen, let us get going. Uh, welcome. For me, the purpose of Illumin is to provide a place to encourage community for men, uh, to allow us to deepen uh, whatever we wish in our lives. And, you know, for that, I call it our spiritual journey. Uh, and it's the virtual council in particular is a way to uh, allow participation despite ge geographic location. Um, the, we continue in, with the regular council format in many respects, and especially the, the four tenets of uh, to speak from the heart, to listen from the heart, to uh, be spontaneous, and to be lean of speech. We have some way of indicating, you know, uh, reception of what people are speaking. For me, I use a, a host sign, but any kind of a talking stick, any kind of a symbol uh, is just simply a recognition that we have listened to that individual. And, uh, it's useful for everybody to have their own talking stick. Uh, for the most part, when we're sh uh, if we're not sharing, if we're not uh, directly speaking, then we stay on mute to minimize background noise. Um, there's no obvious uh, way to have a uh, something in symbolic in the center. So I will be lighting the candle and putting it off to the side, uh, simply because I don't want uh, wax spilling on my keyboard. The, uh, it does create difficulties. So to open our sacred space, I'll light the candle. Acknowledge its presence. And as I say, I will put it off to the side. And I invite anyone who wishes to make a dedication uh, to speak uh, as a reflection of what we bring and uh, what we honor in our lives. Oh. And I'd like to uh, dedicate the council to the firefighters in uh, California, particularly. Uh, even though I'm in Nevada, we get the smoke from those fires and, uh, and the people who have suffered the loss of homes and property. Oh. So in the councils that I run, I usually open with what are called the tenets of a man, which are a series of, of uh, writings that uh, the Vancouver chapter developed. So I'd invite us to read uh, as a group and I will read a seg brief segment, then someone pick up another segment. Lumen, towards a whole man, an act of conscious rebellion to the values of our present culture. Poor beliefs about men. Every man is a beloved son of God. If someone else would like to pick up. Men are ready for serious spiritual journey, being grounded in spirit. He creates an openness to change. Initiation is required to become a whole man. By accepting and learning from failure, men become free to live well and to die well. Always introduce at the very beginning a uh, reflection of what we bring to counsel. Because if people are struggling with uh, major issues, then I might well be uh, changing the prompts of the day uh, so, to, so as to take into account uh, that. So in a few words, give us a weather report of what's going on with you. I'll um, start. Um, we had our gathering um, of our spiritual seekers this morning. We were about 28 people and we had a started off with our, our meditations and, and such, and we were going to be working on Richard Rohr's The Naked Now. Uh, unfortunately, my wife uh, had come along and was uh, struggling, as I said, physically and, and, and mentally as well. And so we had to leave. Uh, she couldn't uh, continue on. Uh, for me, I'm sort of standing uh, in a liminal space, looking out over the edge of the cliff 
wondering what's the next step. Um, and I'm looking forward to the new adventure uh, that's coming, though I don't know exactly what it is. And uh, looking forward to what comes out of that. Oh. Given that, I hope you can hear me. Uh, I'm going to go on to mute and invite us to have 10 minutes of silent meditation. And uh, hopefully I'll be back. With each of the virtual councils, we try to have some kind of a theme and uh, a poem or a uh, quotation or something of that nature to develop the theme. Only, only when you have come to know your true self will you be fully known, realizing at last that you are a child of the living one. If, however, you never come to know who you truly are, you are a poverty-stricken being, and it is yourself which lies impoverished. So the prompts that I will be introducing come from uh, the tenets that, I've, that we read at the very beginning. Uh, a man's work, his career, and his purpose are not the same. His work is a means to his purpose, that of creating and tending life in all spheres. I will post these to the chat function. So if you want to, you know, access them at any time, you can look at your chat. As a German, I would say uh, uh, my, my life purpose at this stage is a, a, a journey, that continued journey uh, to the true self, to be more present in the true self on a regular basis. And sometimes that's moment to moment, uh, knowing uh, I don't have any uh, goal that I'm gonna get there, wherever that is. Uh, and uh, this doesn't differ really much because I'm retired. Uh, so uh, every day is, is a different day, <laughs> but that's the fundamentals of it. And by uh, joining in uh, meditation, usually morning and afternoon, uh, it helps keep us on that journey. Uh, it's similar uh, to the 12 step program, uh, step 11, uh, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God, praying for only his will and the ability to follow it. Thank you. Oh. It, how have you been touched by what some, what, by what someone might have said and perhaps within that that sense of do you have a question that you need to ask uh, from that place of gratitude so for me uh the thing i appreciate is how in these virtual councils you know we set the tone and we create the space where it becomes possible to talk about these things in depth and I don't have that in other areas of my life. Um, even, even sometimes with friends who I may have deeper conversations with, like I notice like sometimes if we're just hanging out, like things are more kind of lively. It's like the tone has to be set, the space has to be created. Um, 
And so I am grateful that these virtual councils exist. Um, I'm glad this one exists here on Saturday because the one I've been attending for my region meets on the night that conflicts with one of the classes I teach. So I'll probably be coming to this more often. Oh. Okay, so gentlemen, I, would, I will uh, extinguish the candle and I would like, invite us to sort of bow to the center and to each other in, uh, in honor of the system. So, thank you very much.